Welcome to another in the BA2 Plus calculator series for compound interest. And in this one, we're going to take a look at uh, mortgages. Well, quite simply, a mortgage is uh, we're buying a house and we have to pay off the loan of the mortgage or the mortgage. And this is how we're going to do it. With mortgages, we can either compute uh, the N for the number of payments or the PMT uh, for payment size itself. It just depends on what the question is asking us. Once we've done that, depending on how long the term is supposed to last, we might have to do a second calculation to figure out the payments for the next term of uh, our mortgage. So we will use the amortization function to uh, figure out how much is still left owing on the mortgage after the first term is done. Okay. You have just purchased a house that has a mortgage of $200,000. You're going to be making payments at the end of each month for the whole 25-year mortgage period. If the interest rate is 4.9% per month for the first five years, how much would your monthly payments be? So at the bottom of the question here, the question is asking how much is your monthly payments? So we are going to be looking for PMT. Let's go back to the top and let's just start working our way through the question and picking out the information we need. So. First thing we talk about is the mortgage itself. So we have a mortgage of 200000 Mortgage is like a loan. So this is another word for PV. So the 200000 here, this is PV. You're going to be making the payments at the end of each month. So the payments at the end of each month. So our calculator needs to be in end mode, which it should always be set in end mode unless you switch it to begin. You can watch the video on how to switch your calculator from begin to end mode and back from begin mode to end mode. The payments are made at the end of the month, so this is our PY, for the whole 25-year mortgage. So we're going to use the 25 for our N. If the interest rate is 4.9% per month, so this is going to be our IY, for the first five years, how much would your monthly payments be? So as you can see, this interest rate is only going to last for five years. However, the mortgage is for a whole 25-year term. So that means we're going to have to do a second question where the interest rate is going to be different uh, for the next five years. Okay, let's set up our row of buttons. So the first thing is our mortgage is 200000 so that's our present value. Uh, you're going to be making payments at the end, and my calculator is already in end mode. Uh, each month, so PY is 12, for the whole 25 years. So even though this interest rate is 4.9% for the first five years, the mortgage itself is a 25-year term, so 25 years times the 12 is 300. This is how many payments we're going to be making over the whole life of the mortgage. And so when you do, when you calculate N, N has to be based on the total life of the mortgage, not just how many years the first interest rate is going to be. The interest rate is 4.9. We are looking for payments future value is going to be zero and the compounding is per month so just CY per month okay so let's turn our calculator on so 300 N 4.9 IY 200,000 PV 0 FV 
Now we'll go into our second function, IY. I have already set my calculator to PY as 12, and if I scroll down, my CY is also 12. Uh, remember, if it is not 12 already, enter the 12, and then down, and then we go second quit to get out, and then we will go CPT, PMT, so compute payments. So our mortgage is going to be $1,157.56 per month for the, whole, for the first five years. I know we use 300 as payment, but these are our payments for the first five years because the interest rate is 4.9% at this time. Now, in the second question, it says, if you had renewed your mortgage at 5.1% per month for the next five years, how much would your monthly payments be now? So what we want to do is we need to figure out the present value after we just finished doing the first five years of payments at the original amount that we just calculated in our calculator here, $1,157.56. So to do that, we will go back into our amortization function. So we're going to go second and more, second PV. And in this function, we now have to figure out how many payments we would make in those five years. So it's five years, and the payments were once a month, or 12 times a year. So we should make 60 payments in total. So that means for P1, we want to set 60, and P2, we want to set 60, and then we want to scroll to the balance. If you uh, ha re cannot remember how to use your amortization function, you can watch the video on the amortization function. So I'm going to go 60 and 60 and then scroll to my balance and again it just takes a few seconds for the calculator to compute that and I get $176,876.42. This balance will become our present value in the next calculation. So, uh, let's just go back to the top of the question, read through it, and pull the information out. So, the very first thing we have here is this 5.1. This is going to be our new IY. Again, it's per month, so CY will remain 12. And I know it says that this is going to be for the next five years, but remember, the mortgage was a 25-year mortgage in total. So when it comes time to doing my N, what we need to do is we need to subtract and figure out how many payments are actually left in the 20-year period. So we started with 25 years in total. We just finished the first five, so there's 20 years remaining. We're going to make a payment once a month for 12 times a year, so there's 240 payments remaining for our N. Uh, let's just get out of this, so let's just go second quit. So there's our N, 240N. The IY is the 5.1. The PV is now the $176,876.42. And then I'm just going to make sure there's zero. FE, the payment is what we're looking for. PY and CY are going to remain at 12 each. We should just check to make sure they are 12 and 12. Second quit, and then CPT, PMT. And our new payments are $1,177.10. Now, this is just our size of our new payments. We're not quite done yet because the question says, how much would your monthly payments be now? Yes, we are done. Okay, we are done. These are our new payments, $1,177.10. This has been another presentation of the Wise Guys Tutoring Videos. If you need any further assistance, please talk to Ron Hammerling in the Learning Assistance Center. Have a good day.